Do you want to grow your 4C hair fast? Do you want to stop breakage? Do you desire to have long, thick, healthy 4C hair? Do you want to fix your credit? Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is not a credit repair channel, but if you say yes to the first three questions, keep watching. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about three untold natural hair growth tips. The truth is you may have heard these tips before, but were you really listening? If you have clicked on this video, chances are this is not your first YouTube natural hair video. So we've all heard the importance of deep conditioning, wash day, protective styling, moisturizing your hair every 72 hours. Did I leave out something? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Now don't get me wrong, those things are important. But that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to give you three even more important tips to grow your natural 4C hair. Especially if you are 4C natural. Because I'm 4C. These tips have allowed me to up my natural hair 4C game. So if you find this information helpful, please share with another natural and help her along her journey too. Okay, tip number one. Change your mindset of how you view your natural hair. See, I told you, you heard about this before, but <laughs> you weren't listening. Those who hate, wait, hate is a strong word. Wait, sorry, mom, sorry. Those who dislike their natural hair simply just don't know how to take care of it. That's when we have these natural hair myths. Like, my hair can't grow. Or, my hair is naturally dry. It's just like that. There's nothing that I can do about it. My 4C hair is unmanageable. My hair is ugly. Stop! Stop! I mean, stop! Okay. I'm not angry, maybe just a little. Unfortunately, most of us grew up in an environment where our natural hair was frowned upon. We were taught to cover up our hair, I mean via perm, wigs, lace fronts, braids, I mean me too. Believe me, I have been there. Check out my natural hair video journey, journey video thinking my jigger right here. Yet one of the reasons why you transition into becoming a natural is because you were sick and tired of the chemicals breaking off your hair. Or like me, I went through an emotional period in my life where truly something had to give, something had to change. So now it's time to change your mindset of how you view your natural hair. For example, I used to really, really dislike my, I didn't say hate, I said dislike. I used to really, really dislike how tightly coiled my hair was. And don't get me started on my feelings about shrinkage. Now, when I see my shrinkage, or I see my really tight coils, I now know that means healthy hair. I have no heat damage. I have no heat damage. I have no heat damage. I embrace my shrinkage now because I completely fool people when they see my hair one length and the next day they see it stretched out. Yep. You thought I was bald head, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Now comes the most hurtful thing that you can ever say to yourself. My natural hair is ugly. No, 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 no. It's not ugly. Come here. Come here. Give me a hug. Let me share some truth with you, okay? Which leads me to 
Tip number two, become a student of your natural hair. Keyword, keyword, your natural hair. Other keyword, become a student. We hear these YouTubers all the time. Because it worked for me, you're going to love it. <laughs> Don't forget to put in my discount code below. Are you listening to your hair or are you keeping up with a certain status? Yes, we have to try these products out to know if we like them. Yes, your research starts with these product reviews. But if it don't work for you, stop using it, boo. This also goes for the techniques and the traditional standards that we black women go by. For example, protective styling. I mean, I keep my braids in for three months. I mean, it allows me to stay out my hair and it just grows, 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 <laughs> grows, grows, grows. Yes, low manipulation is the key to growth. But pay attention. How much hair are you losing once you take out them braids? TMI, TMI, warning. Save the hair that you shed each week in a Ziploc bag and compare and contrast it to following weeks. Then develop your hypothesis at the end of the month. After that, test your theory and write down proven factors that led you to this conclusion. Don't forget to include the manipulated variables, dependent variables, and control variables. Okay, okay, okay. Being a student of natural hair does not have to sound that scientific, but you do need to take note. If something doesn't work for you, stop using it. I don't know, this this really dried my hair out last time, but I'm gonna keep using it until I use it all because um, I don't wanna waste my money. Do not take this approach. Believe me, you are only setting yourself back. Learn the lesson and move forward. You get how I did that? Move forward because my channel is failing forward <laughs> you didn't even notice, did you? Tip number three. B, do half. What? What are you talking about, Jerry? Be patient. Do healthy things consistently. Have long, thick, healthy natural hair. Most of us want have, be, do. I'm sorry, it doesn't work like that. We want to have the long, flawless hair, right? Then we'll be patient because we got what we want, right? And then we'll eventually do the things Weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, to keep our hair healthy. No, no, boo-boo. That's not how it works. Ooh, 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 ooh. Me over here. Hi. How do I get moisturized hair? Great question. Really great question. Let me ask you, how often do you deep condition? every wash day I mean duh I mean not for the past two months but every other wash day I deep conditioned me 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 hi hi me me okay hi hi how do I get moisture for days question great question let me ask you um 
what do you use for your lock method, your LLC? I got that LLC on lock. I mean, lock, lock. Um, gel in warm water, right? Hi, 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 hi. I have a question. I have a question. How do I stop breakage? You know, that is a fantastic question. It really is. Like, really, it is. Let me ask you, um, how often do you wash your hair? What tools do you use to comb or do you finger detangle? I mean, what kind of hairstyles do you wear throughout the week? I know this one. I study. Yes, I did. I study. Um, the answer is C. That was a bit dramatic. I know. But do you have these questions answered? And those, do those answers make sense? So know that your hair does not grow six inches overnight like just just know it right there is no magic pill there is no vix vapor rub that can give you the results that you truly want tomorrow growing hair like anything else takes time regardless of texture don't get me wrong there are things you can do to aid this process but believe me, it all falls under the process or the system of be, do, have. Once I stop measuring my length and being happy within that present moment with how my hair was, my hair grew out of nowhere. Doing healthy things consistently, I created good and healthy habits and perform them on a consistent basis where my natural hair routine became an actual routine, an actual habit to me. It's like brushing your teeth in the morning. You get up, before you go anywhere, you brush those teeth. Hopefully. My natural hair routine is just the same. Every time I shampoo, I deep condition. No excuses. And I became a student of my hair. The results followed. Now I have healthy, long, luxurious hair. The longest hair that I have ever had throughout my young adulthood and now my adulthood life. Okay, let's recap. Tip one change your mindset love your hair is beautiful you're beautiful tip number two become a student look you can have reasons or you can have results truly it's your choice tip number three be do have in that order no 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 in this order right here okay okay question of the day we made it through the video what stories are you telling yourself are they true what can i help you with to overcome how you treat or view your hair let me know in the comments below are you a product junkie that has paid for natural hair care products instead of your bills? Are you a new